Yesterday I went down to uh, GNR Recreation and I took the mule down there. Well, they managed to convert the mule into a Clydesdale yesterday. I got a two inch lift kit onto it and what a difference it makes. I'm gonna bring it outside now and show you guys, we'll take some measurements. I believe I got close to 15 inches of ground clearance in the back and almost 14 in the front. It's a little jacked up, looks wicked and uh, I can't wait to get out and test it. clearance let's see what it is here in the back on the ground and it's up to 14 and a half 14 and a half and up front I think it's almost 14 or 13 I can't remember hang on 14 and 3 8 about 14 and 3 8 and that is because I had this lift kit installed and my shocks adjusted I just want to go on up here and make sure the, uh, the road is still in pretty good shape it's gonna be pretty muddy that's why I'm just taking my time and crawling over it people have already been up here on their bikes still maybe a bit soft yet I don't know if there's any blowdowns or not or if I got to cut off any alders that's why I'm taking the big boy 360 with me here's a spot where I normally take it and throw it into uh, four low crawl up over the next little section I don't know how soft this, uh, this stuff is yet this year you know what I'm always scraping the side there going through no need to be doing that I'm in a hurry to go nowhere today There we go. Somebody come up here and cut down all these trees. Cut down that one, but left it kind of in the road. Oh, that one blew down. Let's fix that one. <sighs> See here. I'm not sure what kind of tree this is. Pinching the blade. But this uh, silky saw, I don't want to put nothing down on that side because it's nice and open. Beautiful. This will be the last piece to take off. There you go. Just like that, we're back in business. Some uh, fresh moose tracks right there. I don't know if you can see it. Going in the road here. I might have to jump out over here. They fix this up for uh, hauling wood. 
wood to endure. I'm gonna have to see what he got done here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to jump out here and sort that out. I don't know what I'm gonna hit up here. Alright, they did a lot of work to this uh, the winter too. Let's get out and see what we're left with here now. This one here is the one of the ones that could actually uh, we could lose, you know, and it would take a lot of work to get it back because holy I don't know if you can see what we're dealing with here. But we get big floods here. I gotta see what, how far that washout goes, boy. So I stay on the high side here. I should be okay. Yeah, I got lots of room. I shouldn't cause that to, to founder in. There is a bit of an overcut. But if I keep over here, I should be okay. Should be okay there. I'll have to do a little bit of work to that now. I'll throw down some better logs. Well, like I said, it's uh, nice just to come out here and see what we're faced with, eh? Every every spring, this road has the ability uh, to change and, and uh, here is here's a sinkhole so before I go on past this I'm going to check out the sinkhole make sure it's not undercut the people have to throw in a lot of sticks and stuff into the sinkhole eh? over the last few years all right if I stay on this, I'm still solid, but she is under cutting. So what I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna have to cut down a bunch of these trees and, and really build up a, a spot here uh, to bridge this. Either that or come up here with a pick and shovel and see if I can't take out some more of, of this. But you can see like there was an uh, underground brook coming down, meandering through here. And what's happening is it, it, it's, eating eating out here Newfoundland we got a lot of brooks that go under underwater or underground you know here's a spot that always uh, spooks me out just a little bit because of uh, how much the, the bike actually tilt so I'm going through here and now I got the center of gravity is really changed on the bike I don't know how much but nah, not tippy at all coming to the uh, to the area of road that me and Shane Blanchard uh, well he helped me get the three big logs in place so yeah made it in this far and we're gonna keep on going that's still in really good shape and again it starts to tip over this way a little bit you want to make sure you got your moose tied down real good and the weight doesn't fall to one side suddenly when you're coming down here I 
I had this all cribbed last year, but. Like one time. The big difference that the lift kit makes, boy, I tell you, in getting the, the shocks stiffened up, still rides very smooth, very soft, but uh, it doesn't squish down like it did, you know? It allows me to easily uh, take my time and navigate up through this, through this section. There's a spot here that I always, I always struck going over this rock here, you know? I always bottomed out there. Not an issue this year. And I always bottomed out here. But again, won't be an issue this year. And when we get up over here now, I'll take it from uh, four low and put it in four high again. Okay, so you guys might remember this section. Uh, this is where I have my rabbit pen right here. And I had to duck my head underneath these branches. So you see what I mean uh, by what we can reach in the summer with a chainsaw in the winter when we get four and five feet of snow, tree four or five feet of snow here. It, it takes us back up into the boughs. I'm just gonna throw it in. Uh, Four low, cause I'm, four low. You you can really just take your time and crawl up over anything here. So overall, I'm quite pleased with the lift kit, with the stability of it, how it didn't change the center of gravity, or if it did, I didn't notice it. And I'm sure anytime you lift it, it is going to change but it's such a, a minute amount that I, I, I feel quite comfortable putting it on some side hills and stuff. I used to hit here from time to time. hit there again
up uh, this time of year though, it really helps me see where there's some, some rocks and stuff, you know? come back here in the fall there's gonna be two feet two feet high of grass well it looks like the the brook crossing has changed again we used to cut right across here but now we can't get down there you know all these bigger rocks that were up here come down across where we used to go so now we gotta go up a little higher I just Got out to see where any big rocks or whatever it is I got to try and avoid as I pick my way across. My machine's a little wider than most people's machines, so. looking for your best route across here you know take your time every year it changes a little you know now my machine is almost too wide to go through that I gotta get out and move that big rock I think I probably could squeeze by, but why bother? All these rocks here, these are non-issues, right? Non-issue. But where mine's just a little bit wider than everybody else's, I'll move some of these rocks around. That gives me plenty of room to come around. Get fill in this hole here. Yeah, you see how my bike, she's wider than the most, eh? You see where everybody else's tires are going. And mine's a, almost a tire outside of that. where people's tires have been brushing up against the side of that. Try to... There we go. A little rough, but... Not like it was in years gone by, you know. 